When you look at those little cards next to the art pieces in the museum, do you ever wonder what they mean? The first one we're going to look at says acrylic. Acrylic is often found in bottles like this, or you can find them in smaller tubes like this. Acrylic paint is when you just use that one media on your art piece. Just like Jeannie Edwards did in this piece. She only used acrylic on this one. That's a kind of paint. Do you see all the details she was able to accomplish using only one kind of paint? Let's look in closer. Do you see all those little hairs? And look at the reflection on the instrument. She used light and dark and medium of one color to make all of these details. So even though she only used one color and acrylic, it was very detailed. Now this next art piece says mixed media next to it. What do you think that means? If media is what you use to make the art piece, what would mixed media mean? Well, in this particular case, it means that Jeannie Edwards didn't just use acrylic paint, but she also used inks and watercolors. So she used more than one thing to make this one art piece work. Can you already tell the difference between this painting and the last one? It was done by the same artist, but it looks so different. Not only are the colors and styles different, but notice the mixed media. There's watercolor and ink and acrylic in there. She has another one that she did with a similar method. Let's look at that one too. Which one does this look like more? The acrylic one or the mixed media? Yep, it looks like the mixed media one again. Do you see the watercolors and the acrylic and the ink that she used in it? She didn't just stop with one media, she used multiple. And there's her signature, just to make sure you know whose it was. So next time you make your art pieces, you don't have to stick to just one media to make it. You can use multiple medias and make a mixed media art piece of your own. Make sure and drop your mixed media art pieces below. I'll see you next time.